I made a huge mistake. A huge mistake, okay? I had a lot going on. I'll talk about it in a minute. So I couldn't do, <laughs> I couldn't do these reviews in time. I feel like my brain is melting because so much happened in these last two episodes. Oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. The notes are condensed because it was just too much happening for me. Like my brain actually could not follow. So I'm sorry if I didn't talk about the thing that you wanted to talk about. But wow, watching two hours of Love Island back to back with all that was going on, I'm actually not okay. The word of the day is scrambled. My head is scrambled. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me. Reviewing Love Island, Australia, season six, episodes 15 and 16. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. If you're wondering why I hadn't posted the last two days, it's because it's my birthday weekend. You see the nails, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. Well, it's my birthday if you're watching this on November 22nd. So yeah, happy birthday to me. I'm officially the same age as Taylor and I pray to God. That's the only thing he and I have in common. Ah! I have never been so betrayed. Now mind you, it was a slow burn of betrayal coming from Taylor, but like I went from him being my favorite guy maybe three, four-ish episodes ago to today feeling disgust. This is me being exaggerative because I know some of you guys be in a tizzy sometimes. Disgust. <laughs> like I... I felt something in my body. And although I don't agree with Stan behavior, there were a few times I wanted to jump into that screen and choke Tyler. I did. I don't support violence though, but oh my gosh, he made me so upset. I'm gonna have to read the notes off my phone because I, I, I need to make sure I read every single thing that I wrote down, okay? Because I already missed a lot of details. I don't wanna miss more. I'm gonna start with episode 15. Hannah was upset for all of two seconds. <laughs> After Nico ended things with her, she was like, oh, Taylor is so hot. <laughs> Anyways, she tells Sophie not to say anything. That's the only thing Sophie knows how to do. All Sophie knows how to do is talk, to talk, talk, talk. Do you think I should bring up, like, if there is a recoupling tonight, would he want me to pick him? Why not? Yeah. Oh fuck, I'm, I'm really bad at keeping secrets. She's about to go ask him how would she feel if he, she picked him tonight. Wait, 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 I shouldn't have said that. It just means that she didn't really have genuine oh, feelings I'm a bit and shit. Too. Fake bro, suck her tits. No, I'm joking. <gasps> That's like. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, okay, we'll jump on Chrissy right away. I can. Ooh. Cause she can. Do it. I'm not even gonna talk about Sophie. I, <laughs> 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 Sophie, man. Oh my gosh, talk about an op. Like, Sophie is the ops that people be talking about when they're talking about ops. Um, Nico feels like the quick turnaround from Hannah is because she never genuinely liked him. I lean on the side of saying I don't believe that that's true, but I can also see how he sees that. And as episode 15 and 16 went on, I was like, well, did she ever like him for what? Like, I don't... I don't know. For me, it's not necessarily how quickly she turned, but how much she had to say regarding Taylor. Because she even said, and this, I don't know who caught this. She said at the end of episode 15, Taylor is a 10 out of 10 and I'm not bad looking. And on the surface, it's like, okay, what's, what's so important about that? Every other time when Hannah has talked about her attractiveness compared to somebody else, she is always the one who's like, I'm a 10 out of 10, I'm a pocket rocket, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm the bee's knees, I'm a goddess, I'm a whatever. But when it comes to Taylor, he is the one who's at this like level, this unattainable level, and she's just in awe of him. And I'm like, so how long have you been feeling that way? That was just so interesting to me. It was, 
it was so quick. But then when I thought about it, I was like, this is the first time that she has ranked a guy, kinda, higher than herself. Hmm. Anyways, luckily for Hannah, Taylor says that he actually would be keen to recoupling with her if the opportunity availed itself. And um, what else did he say? He likes how interested she is because we know he's been frustrated with M because M isn't jealous enough and M isn't showing him enough emotion. But Hannah is really, you know, laying it on thick and he likes that. I'll bet you do. As predicted, the Eggman leaves. I mean, duh, who else, <laughs> who else was gonna leave? Like, get out of here. He says that being in the show and seeking out relationships requires a lot more emotional vulnerability than he's capable of giving, exploring, whatever you wanna say right now. And so he'd rather just go home. He acknowledges that he's got some personal things to work on when it comes to opening up. And um, yeah, he's just not, here for that right now. So goodbye, Mr. Egg. Then we have Taylor um, talking to Chrissy because he's like, oh, if she wanted to talk to the egg guy and he's gone, and she also wanted to talk to, um, oh shoot, who was the other one? Dylan? And he's got his situation with Sophie. I must be her number one. Dylan done, Tommy's gone. I just was seeing where she was at. Who would you want to couple up with in here? It'd be you or Nico. Out of everyone tonight, I believe Hannah's probably the one that you want to get to know the most. That's not true. I was having a chat with Taylor and Nico kind of swooped in and was like, what up, shawty? <laughs> I'm not wasting any time. I'm like, you know, I need to get to know you. I want to get to know you. I'm big on words. You've got to compliment me. You're beautiful, you're small, you're stunning, you're good guys. <laughs> you're like, Holding hands is crazy. So at this point in the episode, <laughs> because so many things I felt in episode 15 changed in episode 16. At this point, I was like, Chrissy's best bet is probably Nico because Nico isn't struggling with a decision. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Nico has made it clear as far as this episode is concerned, that he's all in for Chrissy. Whereas, what's his face? Wants to have his cake and eat it too. Leave him be. And if you look at both of their track records, Nico seems to be the person who's like, blinders on. When I have that person, I'm, I'm all for it. Now, Chrissy was a little bit of a spanner on the works for him, but for the most part, he's been like, no, Hannah is my person. It is what it is. Now he's like, Chrissy is my person. Later on, he's gonna have another person, but I still think it pales in comparison to how Taylor has been acting. Now, Taylor feels like Nico is doing too much, which he is, he absolutely is. But I'm just like, why do you care? You're not trying to give Chrissy the energy that she deserves, so why do you care that somebody else is doing that? You bet. Oof, let me save my rant because I have so many things to say about Taylor later on. Sophie is doing what Sophie does and she is continuing to run her mouth. She's telling Em about the conversation she had with Hannah. She obviously has taken a liking to me. And didn't she say she's gonna go all in for Tay? I wanna ask him how he would feel if I chose him in a recoupling. Not good. I really need to know what his answer to the question was then. I didn't hear shit from Hannah. Hannah's told me this is the first time that I have seen such a clear fraction between the women. And it would be even worse if Alicia actually would it? Because would Alicia, I mean, would Hannah have still, Hannah wouldn't have been talking to, mm, I don't know. If Alicia and Xanthi were still here, the divide between the women would be even greater. Hannah starts to realize she needs to stop talking to Sophie and ends up cozying up with Kayla and Chrissy, which is kind of messy with Chrissy because Chrissy also wants to, it's a whole thing. But the divide is straight down the middle, clear as day. M, Sophie, and uh, Mimi do not like Hannah. Em is annoyed that up until this point, Hannah has not spoken to her about what's going on between her and Taylor. And in as much as I don't think that Hannah was planning to talk to Em, 
How could she talk to M if Sophie keeps jumping in front of the train and doing it before Hannah gets the opportunity to? Again, don't think that she was going to. Then you have Sophie and Dylan talking and she's like, yeah, we're like the strongest in the house. Strongest is a word, <laughs> okay? Strongest is a word. Shadiest, yes, absolutely. So Em and Taylor have a conversation and she says that she wishes she had more clarity on the situation, both from him and from Hannah. She does say that she is feeling a little bit frustrated. She's feeling a little bit jealous. And we know Taylor is eating that up because for him, jealousy means you care. All right. He encourages her to have a conversation with Hannah and it doesn't go well. Everybody else knows. Everybody else knows what? That you would choose him. Well, that traveled quickly. I just thought it was a bit disrespectful and like shitty. I do feel like I haven't really had much. If there was an opportunity for a chat with him, there was probably an opportunity for a chat with me. So Hannah says that she's the type of person who doesn't feel like she has to defend her actions. She will sit and listen. And if there's anything that she can learn from what's being said, she will take that on board. But for the most part, she stands 10 toes down in the way that she has behaved, which is fair and fine. The only thing with that is, if you are a person who demands respect from people, demands girl code, demands clarity from people, and you don't want to do that for other people, don't expect them to have that same courtesy for you. Don't be mad when they treat you how you treat them. Girl code, if Hannah truly believed in it, whether or not M is your friend, you go and you tell her, hey girl, by the way, this is what's going on with me. I don't want you to feel like I'm stepping on your toes. I just wanted to let you know I'm in the area, all right? But you didn't want to do that. M decides to match Taylor's energy and she's gonna explore her own connections. I didn't know she was intrigued by Mercedes, but lo and behold, here she is talking to Mercedes. Coming into this, oh. you were in my top two. You, was I? I swear to God. I came here for something real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. I'm not trying to hook up with girls and just have it flings and shit like that. Like, mm. I could be happy with just my partner and us fucking traveling the world forever and doing our thing. I would like to, like I said, I don't need kids. A lot of shared values and interests. We actually had a really good conversation. Oh. Do I see it for these two? No, at, at the point in, the, in this episode. Am I mad at it? Also, no. I'm intrigued to see where it goes. I don't think it's gonna go far, but I'd like to see what would happen. So Taylor, Mr. Oh, I'm open, I wanna explore my options. Apparently that only applies to him because when he sees that, uh, what's her name now? M is also exploring her options. He's rattled by that. And he starts to say, oh, she's moving weird. She's been moving weird with... <sighs> he starts being uh, snippy with her, saying that she should just have sex with him. He was like, well, just F him then, as a joke. You know, he likes to joke about stuff. Then he said um, they should just go and try it out. And she's like, yo, what's going on? He continues on to ask her why she keeps pushing him away. <sighs> This is the point of the episode where I wanted to jump in my screen and joke him because the way in which the man was able to flip the script on her was insane, insane. She is only talking to one person. You're actively talking to two other people and you feel like she is the one moving weird with you. She hasn't even been as disrespectful as he's been because in the night you will see him entertain all three women, even if somebody else is watching. And it's not like, oh, we're having little chats. It's, oh, I'm a, I'm a touch, feel, hug you up, crack your back. Oh, hey, hey. But he has the audacity to be like, oh, M, why do you do this to me? Oh, M, if you want to go be with him, then just go be with him. Get him out. The thing that's alarming for me is how, and I've been saying this too, because things were so subtle, it's easy for people in the villa to miss it, right? But as time goes on, it's getting less and less subtle. His mask is slipping and it really is looking manipulative. This conversation to me was giving major manipulative vibes. And M was catching on it, was catching 
was catching on it, catching up on it, catching on to it, catching on to it. And was catching on, guys, it's late, I'm so sorry. And was catching on to it a little bit here, but she saw it more clearly in the next episode. And I'm so glad that she did because I'm pretty sure Taylor is used to hiding behind the, oh, I'm such a great guy, I'm such a catch, I'm such a whatever, that people miss these red flags that you can't really hide from when the cameras are rolling 24 seven. And it's interesting, the the character arc that's happened with Taylor, because he really did come in being that guy. Oh my gosh, he's so empathetic, he's so sweet. Like, he's ready for me, all these things. Under that surface, there's a, there's a nasty side of him. And I, I, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Breezing through some things here because I really did not care. Um, Zane and Kayla go to the hideaway. Cool. Chrissy, oh, when they came out of the hideaway, she was like, oh my gosh, I feel like we can, um, we can really have a future on the outside. The hideaway got like gave me so much perspective and I think we'd really work. Whereas he is talking about her tight ass and cheese. That's Zane in a nutshell, okay? Chrissy <laughs> decides to sleep in another bed upstairs instead of sleeping next to Dylan. I forgot those two were still coupled up. So yeah, Dylan at first is like, why is she doing that? For him to question her decision, that was weird to me. Then you had Taylor juggling Hannah, Chrissy, and M. One, one moment he's talking to Hannah because she wants to make him eggs. <laughs> Eggs, again, if you watch Love Island USA, you know eggs are very controversial. Then you got Chrissy. Um, he's helping Chrissy make her bed and whatever. And then he's hugging M. Hey, just so brazen with it. So brazen. But anyways, um, the next morning you have Steph and Mimi who are now pushing M to go talk to Mercedes. She feels like she is a person who holds her cards close to her chest and they're like, no, but he's feeling you. So like, you should go and do it. And it's great timing because Taylor, he's wasting no time. Laying it on thick right back with Hannah. Hannah is weird, he's getting weird. Beautiful. Oh yeah, stunning. <laughs> I look, I look, I look. Okay, cool. I don't think Taylor could do the airplane with Ray. I'm gonna get over and he's flat. <laughs> gonna put on my back? Yeah, I'll put it on your back. <laughs> How's your journey been so far? Besides wishing you a piece of me day, what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, he's a 10 out of 10. I'm not bad looking. Hannah was determined to edge herself in front of the competition no matter what it took. And here's the thing. If you're gonna approach Love Island like a game, go ahead. But when the game plays you, we don't want to hear it. M's friends are not happy with the way that Hannah is moving about this. Um, I don't know if I can consider Sophie to be M's friend. To me, M is, I'm sorry, Sophie, is so duplicitous. I don't think she's anybody's friend. I think she is Dylan's friend. Not even, I can't even say friend. I think she wants to be chosen by Dylan. I wouldn't trust that girl as far as I could throw her and I have weak arms. <laughs> I have really weak arms. Um, Mimi is not with it. Steph is not with it. But on the other hand, now that Hannah has Chrissy and Kayla as friends, they're all for it. To the point where sometimes you will see Kayla and Hannah talking together with Zayn and Taylor as if they're on like a double date. Like it's, the dynamics in this house are crazy. The flip-flopping in this house is crazy. Am I enjoying it? Absolutely. So episode 16, things are really condensed, mainly because the whole episode was almost Nico and this new girl. So Nico gets a text that a Greek bombshell is coming into the villa All he needed to see was that first word, which was a word in Greek, and he was in love, okay? Um, Chrissy is kind of spiraling now because she's like, oh my gosh, I know how Greek guys are. They go for each other. Greek, Greek, that's it. That's all the compatibility that they need. So she's like trying to check in with him like, hey, are you still gonna talk to me? And he's like, yeah, 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 no, like it's not a done deal. It's a done deal. Don't get me started. <laughs> 
Don't get me started. <sighs> My are gonna be so happy. <laughs> Yasu Niko. Yasu. Oh, hey. Yasu. <laughs> My name's Mia. I'm 23 from Adelaide and I work in fashion. I usually go for someone that's driven, charismatic, someone that I can like be proud to take home to the family, you know? You're Nico. I'm Nico. Everyone just goes Nico if they're like Aussie or whatnot. So yeah. <laughs> The Greek flag. That, the Greek flag, the bit of bread, the tzatziki. So good. Nico and Mia are really excited that another Greek person is in this villa. And no shade, no tea. If I was on a dating show and they sent in a Zimbabwean man, I'm walking the other direction. I'm just... <laughs> I'm walking the other direction. I'm one and done. My one Zimbabwean man will be my last. Watch me eat my words in a few years. No, 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 no. But I love that they have this loyalty to their own. Mm, I love it. Mm, yay, great. He is like, this is my dream girl. I'm in love. I'm ready for you to meet my family, whatever. Like he is sold. He comes back to the villa, anybody with ears, including the cats, all know, oh, Nico's in love. Nico is in love. This girl, I don't know why she's deciding to pigeonhole herself so quickly. Even she is like, oh no, I don't want to talk to anybody else. You're not even going to give yourself the opportunity? She's like, no, I, I, I like Nico. That's it. We're done. Wow. That, that Greek connection is strong. I forgot to mention that after Mia introduced herself to all the women, they went to the dressing room and the girls were quick to paint Nico as if he is a womanizer. Hannah was talking a lot. She was like, yeah, he was on to me. And then he switched up on me and went to Chrissy. And now he switched up on her and he went to, Hannah, do you have amnesia, girl? You switched up first, okay? And he moved on to Chrissy after ending things like girl what what are you talking about but anyways um the energy that they have for nico and not for taylor is so interesting because i truly think that taylor is moving a lot worse but they don't have that same energy for taylor they have energy for hannah regarding taylor but definitely not taylor i don't know i don't know either way Mia was like, okay, y'all, I already found my husband, so I don't care what you tell me. So while that date was going on, back at the villa, you had Chrissy, who was talking to Taylor, but then it somehow shifted to her talking to Steph, and I was like, whoa, whoa, do, do, sorry, what's going on? I haven't been in here once. Yeah, Especially, yeah. It's it's a big ass like foot. Like <laughs> what? And then he just kind of like started rubbing his foot on my tummy, like up and down. I mean, like he's staring at me all the time, so without saying anything. You're staring at me? No, I'm... I feel like you stare at me. Are you? You do. <laughs> I mean, she's just beautiful. I wanted to say plot twist, but it, 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 plot stays. <laughs> What's the opposite of twist? <laughs> What's the opposite of twist? Plot revert, okay? The plot reverted back to what it what it was supposed to be because this is the stuff that I know. This is the one. Now he says, oh, I've been open and okay, fine. He never said that he was closed off with Mimi, but he just gave the impression that he was pretty locked in with Mimi and that there was no other girl in the villa right now that he was checking for. So this change of tone is a little bit suspect. I don't know where it's coming from. Is Mimi ever even gonna find out? Because right now, the big hullabaloo is with M and whatever. Like, she's really focused on that. Is Mimi ever gonna find out that her man is still perusing? I would like to know. They play a game. There was a lot going on. I only wrote down the things that stood out to me. Dylan makes Taylor and Hannah kiss because he thinks that they should be coupled up. Nico thinks that Mia is the most genuine and Hannah is the least genuine. Taylor picks M and Hannah for a three-way kiss. You should have picked the new girl. I don't know why. I don't know why he would do that. I don't know why. But anyways, Mercedes thinks that Chrissy is the hottest brunette. Hannah kissed Taylor. Yes, Hannah kissed Taylor. Nico's perfect partner would have Hannah's face, Kayla's body, and Mia's personality. She did not like that. She did not like that at all. 
Then you have M who would recouple with Mercedes if uh, she couldn't couple up with Taylor. He loved the kiss. He was like, wow, it was so passionate. It was so great. Like, this is amazing. Like, she's on, 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 on. Like, he was eating it up, eating it up. And then lastly, Mimi thinks that Taylor and Hannah are the most toxic. It is to be noted that Taylor was extremely offended at the idea that somebody would call him toxic. Oh, he did not like that at all. Didn't like it at all. So after the game, you have a few people who are upset. Oh, my time is running out. Hold on, let me restart this video. I did not realize I had been talking for 30 minutes. Okay, hold on. Wow. Um, Who's upset? Where am I? Mia is upset because she wished that Nico picked her for all three characteristics. Now, I don't think you can do that. I mean, you can. I mean, you can. Like, who, who's who, who's going to fight you? You know, like, you can, but that's not really the point of the game. When they always ask this question, I think to myself, I mean, when they ask this question, I always think to myself, which would I prefer? It would be nice to say face. It would be nice to say body. But the thing is, I feel like there's a there's an issue to have with either one. If you're somebody who values deep connection, you would be upset if somebody just says body or face. If you're somebody who thinks that like your partner should not have eyes for anybody else, you would be upset if they say personality for you and then looks for somebody else. Like there, there's just an issue to have regardless of what's picked. Um, she she was proper kicking off too. She, yeah. And then she was in her confessional saying that she typically doesn't trust men and what I said, ooh. This is a train wreck waiting to happen, but we'll have to see what unfolds with those two. Then we have Hannah who's upset with Taylor because she feels like the way that he was acting in the game was very childish. Every time they would kiss, he would laugh. And she's like, well, I like you and I'm showing you that I like you, but clearly you're too afraid to kiss me because M is right there. And she was in her confession like, M is supposed to be chill. Well, Hannah, oh girl, Hannah really does not like a girl who is just unbothered by being with the girls. Like she does not like M. <laughs> she doesn't like her. <laughs> but anyways, she feels like she deserves a man who is going to reciprocate her energy and protect her. And she feels like Taylor hasn't done either of those things. Taylor has his own things that he's upset about. He is talking to M and he's like, wait, what are the, there's two things he didn't like. He felt like being called toxic is like the worst thing you could call somebody. He was really upset at that. And then he was upset that M not only kissed Mercedes, but kissed him very passionately. Taylor's very fast to point out what I do and do not do. Is there something she's not telling me? Like, it was like, not just like a kiss. It was a very passionate kiss. Cause I know I you're very much- I was not trying to spite you. I, I noticed that. You've spoken a few times today, haven't you? Like, I feel so like we've not spoken Hannah. about it. Well, we haven't spoken, but you almost haven't like come up to me and said, hey, that we can chat now. I mean, we had- I'm asking, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you have something to worry about. It's anything, it's like I've got something to worry about. Why is it flipped on me? I'm not trying to flip it on you in any other way. I'm just trying to be real. You want kids and I don't. It's not about like flipping it on me, flipping it on you. No. Why would I get to know you and potentially fall in love with you? Like, and, then go, and then go and then break our hearts. Seriously, there is a lot, obviously. <laughs> You're like, no. So, no. <laughs> but yeah, I think you're amazing. I'm sorry, this is so dramatic. And you're gonna be, no, no, I'm genuine. You're gonna, no, you're okay, gonna be, are you scared? Are you scared? <laughs> I was so excited to see this relationship end. So excited. Because even the way in this conversation he was talking, it was if he was having this epiphany that it wasn't gonna work with her. When she was the one having the epiphany that it wasn't gonna work with him. And then as much as she could have fought him on it, she was just like, you know what? At the end of the day, we're not compatible. It's okay. We will be friends. We will leave this amicably. It's fine. I wish, no. I was going to say, I wish Taylor did this earlier, but I'm, I'm now glad that he didn't because it gave M the opportunity to come to this conclusion on her own. The, the decision wasn't made for her because like I've been saying in, the, in all these videos, they knew they were not going to work long term. And I'm glad that she finally came to terms with that because they knew it, 
but they didn't want to accept it because, oh, the villa is short term, whatever. The villa might be short term, but your feelings might not be. And you just got to go with what your heart's telling you. If you're starting to get attached to somebody and you know it's not going to work, cut it loose. And I'm glad that she did. M is also happy that she ended things because very quickly, Taylor's tone has changed. He's definitely moving funny. He's pulling Mercedes, basically saying, oh, you can have her, dude. Like, don't worry about it. She's a great girl. You know, I, I give you permission. Ain't nobody asking for your damn permission. No. Especially M, and she makes that very clear. So go hard, big dog. No, I really want you to. No, 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 no. Sorry to say this in front of everyone. Why do you have to tell it in front of everyone? Yeah. No, you said your man's single. Wow. She's amazing, bro. She's honestly one of one. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. yeah and, I don't want, and I'm being selfish, holding her back. No, I get it. Like saying that in front of everybody was just was just kind of kind of off. You're the person that I want in here. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. Same. Thank you. You're cute. I kind of want to have a kiss outside of the challenge. I, 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 I. Oh, I was eating this up. Oh, guys, I was eating it up. I was eating it up. Wow. Wow. Also, this villa can turn on a dime. It is crazy. But yeah, girl, go ahead and kiss this man that you're now having a connection with. Why not? Taylor clearly wants to do whatever he wants to do, no matter how you feel about it, but then wants you to be upset about it and then also not do the same thing that he's doing. No, no, no. I'm glad that she's doing whatever she feels like doing. She deserves that. She does. Now, Mercedes, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I fully trust Mercedes, but he is M's better option right now. Yeah. Taylor is just ew. Just ew. Like I genuinely feel betrayed. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? In the words of Tyra Banks. How dare you? Next episode seems to be even more emotional. Guys, I promise I will do my best to not, excuse me, to not miss an episode because clearly when you miss an episode, you miss a lifetime of drama. So yeah. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.